Hello and welcome to V12 Productions Live. Thanks for joining us. So uh, unfortunately there was a derailment in central Georgia and I've been digging around for images and information to share with you guys and I thought a quick live stream would be the best way to get that information to you guys. So um, let's go ahead and get started and uh, I'll give you the details I know right now. The early morning hours of Monday, August 16th, 2021. Rail cars of all types are on the ground in Oconee, Georgia. According to the Washington County Sheriff's Office, this westbound Norfolk Southern train derailed around 1 a.m. They say approximately 32 cars came off the tracks on Central Drive, blocking the road. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. This information and these dramatic images were posted on the Washington County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. In this picture, you can see covered hoppers stacked on top of each other. And it looks like at least one of the cars in this train came open, spilling its contents. We can see this was a manifest or mixed freight train. The photos show tank cars, several box cars, and covered hoppers. There is also heavy machinery working to clear the accident. This picture shows an excavator and a side boom tractor. According to another post by the Washington County Sheriff, Norfolk Southern plans to have the road and railway open by Tuesday, August 17th. There's no word on a cause just yet, but the railroads report incidents like this to the FRA, so as soon as I see the official cause of all this, I'll post it in the description. So like I said, I'll be looking for a, a cause for this, but it, it could take a few months. Uh, it takes them a while to upload that information uh, to the FRA website. But I was doing a little digging, like I said before, and I did come across uh, an incident that happened uh, in this same county, Washington County. It was actually in a town called Davisboro, and uh, a train uh, derailed back in September of 2020. And let me just read you uh, the, the cause that they determined on that one. Uh, it actually, it says here that um, the 191G516, that's the train number, hit a washout on the track and derailed 28 cars and damaged two. So that's unrelated to this incident, but it happened back in September 2020, same county, but a, a different town. It was in, like I said, Davisboro. So speaking of the location, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys where exactly this is in Georgia. I said central Georgia, but let's kind of narrow it down a little bit here. So I've got a map here, and this was drawn up by the Georgia Department of Transportation, and it's basically the Georgia Railroad map here, and the green is uh, Norfolk Southern. You can see we have other railroads listed. Uh, Sandersville is here. So we've got Oconee here. Now don't confuse this with Oconee County. Uh, we've got the Oconee River, um, so that's where it gets its name from in addition to the Native American tribe. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit and we're gonna look. And someone's asking about where the engines are. It looks to me like uh, from the images I saw that they probably pulled those things off. I guess they did not derail. And I'm gonna zoom out here on the map a little bit and we can kind of see where we are. Remember we're uh, kind of, I'm gonna keep it on the center of the screen here and I'll kind of back it out a little you can see about where we were here. So right about here, and that's kind of, I guess, east central Georgia, if you, if you will. Now, I was also looking around online, and uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to the scene. So I had to kind of rely on the information the sheriff's office released and also uh, kind of information that was flowing out of kind of the central Georgia area, specifically Macon. That's kind of the big town uh, in that area. And uh, I was able to find um, a couple of news stories, uh, one of which was well done by WMAZ, which is one of the big television stations in Macon. And they, they kind of, that's their coverage area. And I, I looked at their news story, and I saw that uh, one of the tank cars, you know, we're kind of speculating here on, on what was in some of that, what was some of that cargo. I don't want to speculate too much, but I can tell you one of their shots, they showed the, uh, the UN or the United Nations number, and UN numbers, they identify hazardous materials, right? So if, if a car has hazardous materials, you'll see that placard on there. It's kind of like a diamond shape. It'll be red. It'll have a number in there. You've probably seen it before, but in case you didn't know. 
and one of the tank cars I saw in their story, it had the UN number of uh, 1268, and uh, basically that's a petroleum product, so it's, uh, it's flammable. So that was one of the things I was able to determine as I was kind of digging around here, and uh, I'll, I'll definitely link the WMAZ story down in the description, so if you guys want to learn more uh, from folks who know that area really well, you can click on that and, and learn more from them. So also while I was uh, digging around, uh, I learned that MAZ, WMAZ that I was just talking about, they reported that Norfolk Southern told them the train was going from Columbia, South Carolina to Macon, Georgia. So uh, looked around and uh, just kind of looking at our map, let's go back to our map really quick and kind of see uh, what exactly that would have looked like. So Macon is here on our map and here, and then here's where the accident or the derailment happened right here in Oconee. So would have gone up here. Here's Augusta. Now I don't want to speculate too much on the train number, but I know that there is a train, Norfolk Southern train 191 that goes from Columbia to, to Macon and works a yard in Augusta. So uh, we can kind of see on our map, unfortunately this is a Georgia DOT map, so it doesn't go into South Carolina, but that green, we can see that's our uh, Norfolk, Norfolk Southern line. So again, kind of zooming back in here a little bit, back into Oconee where this happened. So let's kind of move on, and I wanted to give a little bit of perspective on what exactly these guys use as far as equipment because you know I've I've covered quite a few derailments unfortunately I've covered quite a few derailments in my time uh, most of them strangely most of them happened last year and yeah you know, I guess last year was overall just a really bad year so here's a, a derailment I got and this is totally unrelated to the one we're talking about now but you can at least see those side boom tractors and how they operate. And this particular derailment happened in Atlanta uh, in Inman Yard uh, back in the beginning of 2020. So um, let's check this out and see how these machines work. You can see those side boom tractors. see those counterweights they have there to kind of balance them out because you know they're they're lifting some really really heavy stuff obviously and I believe these machines were originally developed to lay pipe big pipe laying machines essentially so uh, these salvage companies if you want to call them that uh, like RJ Corman and Holcher Services um, those are the companies shown here R.J. Corman, you may have heard of, Holcher Services, they both help with uh, the train derails, you know, they're on the spot and ready to, to get it back on track and get the line cleared and kind of help, help get everything back to normal. So this time lapse shows you a derailed locomotive uh, in Atlanta. So kind of interesting there and I wanted to just show you guys uh, one other, two other actually photographs I took of these these side boom tractors because they're really interesting and, I, and I'll tell you why I'm showing these showing you these modern pieces of equipment in a minute so we can see here this is uh, for you Georgia rail fans out there I think you're gonna recognize this is Tilford Yard back when it was still active and you can see you know there's actually in the distance here we can see there's again those side boom tractors you can see RJ Corman is on the scene they have those distinctive uh, kind of red and silver trucks and you know they're always really clean that was one of the things with their founder if you've watched that documentary about RJ Corman he liked his equipment to be clean uh, just to show how good they were and uh, anyways my guess would be this locomotive is probably getting a traction motor swapped out or something they had to lift it up maybe they didn't have the facility to do that there uh, there used to be a turntable over there too but anyways again you can kind of see these pieces of equipment in action and you know they're basically they look like bulldozers or something like that I believe they're made by Caterpillar so let's go ahead and 
And again, this is unrelated to the DRAM that we were just talking about. I just wanted to show you the equipment. And I want to show you one more piece of equipment while we're on the subject, just to show you. So we've seen these tractors, right? And now let's look at this. This is basically a big old crane, or I guess a derrick, if you want to call it that, something like that. And this is on display at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania up north. And back in the day, you know, these railroads, they used to have their own equipment to re-rail engines, cars, you know, they, they bring their own stuff. And nowadays they have contractors out there helping them to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's somehow financially makes more sense to them. But uh, this is an old Conrail, big old crane here. Uh, my guess would be it's, it's diesel powered, self-propelled, and uh, really an amazing piece of machinery. But they just don't use these anymore. You know, they'd, they'd rather find a, a, a contractor to, to help them do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little recap here of what we've been talking about. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a short live stream because I figured this was the going to be the fastest way to get you the information that uh, you, you might be interested in and, and wanting to know. Uh, there was a derailment in, in Washington County, Georgia uh, yesterday, Oconee, Georgia, and uh, there were no injuries, fortunately. Uh, you can scrub back through this live stream. I have all the, the photographs I was able to find from the Washington County Sheriff's Department in Georgia. They um, shared all those photos on their Facebook page, so look back at that and and kind of see the information there. And, uh, you know, fortunately, I, my guess would be it's probably almost cleared up by now. I mean, it's happened early, early Monday morning, early yesterday morning. So and the, the videos I've seen from that area, it looked like they were making pretty steady progress. So, um, you know, that's about all I know for now. Uh, I didn't see any locomotives involved in this. It looked like it was mostly just rolling stock. Uh, mixed freight train, so a lot of different types of cars there. Uh, not entirely sure of the train number. Um, I know that WMAZ down there reported the train was going from Columbia, South Carolina to Macon, Georgia, so I think we could make some speculations based on that, but uh, that was information that was provided to WMAZ by Norfolk Southern. Uh, and again, I'll link their story in the description so you guys can look at that if you want to. Uh, Really, I wanted to do this just because, you know, if you want the information, uh, here it is. And also just to show you guys, and I don't think we need to be reminded of this, but just the power of, of trains. I mean, you know, those are big pieces of metal, you know. I mean, everything out there is, is bigger than, than we are. So just got to be careful around, around train tracks. And, uh, you know, we hope stuff like this doesn't happen, but sometimes it does. Unfortunately, there were no injuries. So let's kind of look at these comments here, and I'm going to bring back up the map really quick, so just so we have a general reference of where we are again, and uh, kind of see, you know, unfortunately i am got as much information as I could possibly get on this, and uh, actually what I'll do is I'm going to show you guys some of these photographs one more time, so we can kind of look at this stuff, and I'll turn the, the early morning hours a little bit. And we can see these are all from the Washington County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. And this happened in Oconee, Georgia. So let's just take a look and y'all can see what we're talking about if you joined us late. If you joined us late, go ahead and scrub back to the beginning of the live stream and you can see the information I was able to, to share through this. Um, wonder what caused it. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm wondering about that too, and uh, like I always try and do, I want to give you guys facts, and I don't want to speculate, so I'm going to wait until I can find the information on the uh, FRA, the Federal Railroad Administration's website, and then I'll be posting that information uh, in the description of this video. So just so we're all clear, and I don't want to ever mislead anybody or give you guys the wrong information, so try and get you what I can here and uh, you know hopefully it's helpful and kind of is a lesson that you know like I said before these trains man they're they're powerful and they can they can do damage so you know you want to be as, as safe as you possibly can when you're out there and again we 
always hope stuff like this never happens, but sometimes it does. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to myself here, and we're about to wrap up the live stream. I know it was a quick one, but uh, I do appreciate you guys joining me, and uh, I'll keep looking into this story and see if I can find any updates, and if I do, I'll definitely post them here. And again, thank you so much for, for joining me here on YouTube, V12 Productions Live. And again, this is all live, so we're kind of just bear with me here trying to figure it all out. But uh, I do have many more videos coming up that are a lot more, I guess, upbeat, if you want to say that. Uh, we've got one about just kind of go through a couple of the videos that I'm, I'm working on here. I've got one about uh, an old E-unit, uh, Southern Railway 6901. And that's, yeah, it's an old Southern Railway E-unit. They've got it running in Duluth, Georgia, and you're going to hear it. You're going to hear the Nathan P5 on it. I think you're going to enjoy that. I really enjoyed that event. A lot of fun. Uh, Norfolk Southern helped them to restore that engine, so... Uh, I think they did a great job and that thing is running like a champ so you know it's good for me because i've been looking at that thing sitting on static display for a long time so it's cool to get to see it run we're also going to go in the cab of the unit so i think y'all are going to enjoy that hoping to get that one done in the next two weeks or so so uh, stick around for that uh, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here uh, if you have any questions post them in the comments and uh, thanks again for joining us